Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today I'll be going over the Lesson 31 fourth grade worksheet. Let's take a look at mixed review and test prep first. Number one says C minus 5 plus 2. Um, and before it says for 1 through 2, find the value of if C equals 8. So let's write the problem again. 8 minus 5 plus 2. We'll be using PEMDAS. And as you guys probably already know, these are the steps that you're going to solve your problems with. So we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we'll do P first, parentheses, 5 plus 2 is 7. Next, we'll be bringing the 8 down. 8 minus 7 is 1. Number three, what is the mean of this set of numbers? So to find the mean, you want to add up all the numbers and then divide it by the total number of numbers you have. So we'll be doing 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 3 divided by, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. And if we add this, we get 16 here. We get 10 here. So we'll be doing 16 plus, let's write this somewhere else so we have a little bit more room. 16 plus 19, and we get 35. So we have 35 over 5, and we know that 35 divided by 5 is 7. So our answer, we'll just box this. Number 5 which is the probability of tossing an even number on a number cube labeled 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and 11. So we're just going to look for the even numbers here. We know that 4 is an even number and 6 is an even number. So we'll be doing 2 over the total number of numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, 6. Sorry about that. And if we simplify, we get one third. So our answer is B. Number seven, write each fraction in simplest form. So to make something in simplest form, you're just going to divide top and bottom by the same number. So we're going to divide by three and we get one third. And number 13, 20 over 100. We're going to use the knocking off the zero trick. So knock off the last zeros. So we get 2 over 10. We're going to divide top and bottom by 2. And we get 1 fifth. And that is our answer. Number 15, we have 9 over 999. Divide top and bottom by 9. And we get 1 over 1, 1, 1. All right. Let's take a look at more about probability. Number two, use the table to find the fraction of spins when the pointer stopped on green. So first, we're going to add up all of our outcome tallies. So we have 28 plus 22, and we know that is 50. Next, we're going to add 24. We know that that is seven, oops, 74, and then we're going to add 21 and we get 95. We're only gonna look at green, so we have 21 over 95 is our answer. Number three, how does the fraction of spins in which pointer stops on green or yellow compare to the mathematical probability of that event? So we'll just be comparing green and yellow. So we already know that green is, we said 21 over 95. So let's find yellow. Yellow is going to be 24 over 95. So we know that yellow has a better chance. So we'll write yellow here. Um, finally, we're gonna be looking at combinations. It says tree diagram shows all the possible combinations or outcomes. Find the number of possible combinations by making a tree diagram. I don't like making tree diagrams because I think they're 
a lot more complicated, so I just multiply things out. So let's take a look at number one. You can plant one type of flower in one location. So we have one location, we're going to write one at the end. There's three different types of tul uh, types of flowers, tulips, roses, or irises. So we'll write three. There's um, front yard, backyard, or side yard, so three different locations. So we're just going to multiply three times three times one, and we get nine combinations. Let's look at number three, sandwich choices. For meat, we have ham, turkey, roast beef, or pastrami. So that is four different types. Cheese, we have American, Swiss, Jack, or Colby. That is four different types as well. So we'll just be doing four times four, which is 16 combos. All right, combinations continued. Julie can choose from three types of pasta. So they already said three. Um, let's write that better. She can make either these one, two, three, four different sauces times four. And there are 12 combos. All right, let's take a look at last problem, number three. Josh has $16. He buys a t-shirt. He wants to buy two more items. What items can he buy? So um, he already bought a t-shirt. We're looking at this table, by the way. So we'll be doing $16 minus the price of a t-shirt, which is 12. So that becomes $4 left. So we're going to find items that are, um, oops, less than or equal to four dollars so we know that he could buy a horn he could buy a water bottle a reflector and a snack so we'll be putting horn water bottle reflector and snack all right i'll show you guys the answer keys so you can compare your answers once you're done great job guys